Zechariah Hebrew Zakurskaria remember Yah Greek Zacharias Zacharias in KJV Zachary in the Douay Rheims Bible Zachary Arabic Zakaria in Islamic tradition is a figure in the New Testament Bible and the Quran hence venerated in Christianity and Islam in the Bible, he is the father of John the Baptist, a priest of the sons of Aaron in the Gospel of Luke 1 and the husband of Elizabeth who is a relative of the Virgin Mary Luke 1 <laughs> Biblical account According to the Gospel of Luke, during the reign of King Herod, there was a priest named Zechariah, of the course of Abia, whose wife Elizabeth was also of the priestly family of Aaron. The evangelist states that both the parents were righteous before God, since they were blameless in observing the commandments and ordinances of the Lord. When the events related in Luke began, their marriage was still childless, because Elizabeth was barren, and they were both well advanced in years. Luke chapter 1 verses 5 to 7. The duties at the temple in Jerusalem alternated between each of the family lines that had descended from those appointed by King David 1 Chronicles 24 -1 Luke states that during the week when it was the duty of Zechariah's family line to serve at the temple of the Lord, the lot for performing the incense offering had fallen to Zechariah Luke chapter 1 verses 8 to 11. The Gospel of Luke states that while Zechariah ministered at the altar of incense, an angel of the Lord appeared and announced to him that his wife would give birth to a son, whom he was to name John, and that this son would be the forerunner of the Lord Luke chapter 1 verses 12 to 17. Citing their advanced age, Zechariah asked with disbelief for a sign whereby he would know the truth of this prophecy. In reply, the angel identified himself as Gabriel, sent especially by God to make this announcement, and added that because of Zechariah, S doubt he would be struck dumb and not able to speak, until the day that these things shall be performed. Consequently, when he went out to the waiting worshippers in the temple's outer courts, he was unable to speak the customary blessing Luke chapter 1 verses 18 to 22. After returning to his house in Hebron, in the hill country of Judah, his wife Elizabeth conceived. After Elizabeth completed her fifth month of pregnancy, her relative Mary was visited by the same angel, Gabriel, overshadowed by the Holy Ghost and, though still a virgin, became pregnant with Jesus. Mary then traveled to visit her relative Elizabeth, having been told by the angel that Elizabeth was in her sixth month of pregnancy. Mary remained about three months before she returned to her own house Luke chapter 1 verses 23 to 45, 56. Elizabeth gave birth, and on the eighth day, when their son was to be circumcised according to the commandment, her neighbors and relatives assumed that he was to be named after his father. Elizabeth, however, insisted that his name was to be John, so the family then questioned her husband. As soon as Zechariah had written on a writing table, His name is John, he regained the power of speech, and blessed the Lord God of Israel, with a prophecy known as the Benedictus or Song of Zechariah. Luke chapter 1 verses 57 to 79. The child grew up and waxed strong in spirit, but remained in the deserts of Judea until he assumed the ministry that was to earn him the name John the Baptist. Luke chapter 1 verse 80, Luke chapter 3 verses 2 to 3, Matthew chapter 3 verse 1. Topic: Other Christian traditions. Topic: Origen suggested that the Zechariah mentioned in Matthew chapter 23 verse 35 as having been killed between the temple and the altar may be the father of John the Baptist. Orthodox Christian tradition recounts that, at the time of the massacre of the innocents, when King Herod ordered the slaughter of all males under the age of two in an attempt to prevent the prophesied Messiah from coming to Israel, Zechariah refused to divulge the whereabouts of his son who was in hiding, and he was therefore murdered by Herod's soldiers. This is also recorded in the Infancy Gospel of James, an apocryphal work from the 2nd century. The Roman Catholic Church commemorates him as a saint, along with Elizabeth, on September 23. He is also venerated as a prophet in the calendar of saints of the Lutheran Church on September 5. The Eastern Orthodox Church also celebrates the feast day of Zechariah on September 5, together with Elizabeth, who is considered a matriarch. Zechariah and Elizabeth are invoked in several prayers during the Orthodox Mystery of Crowning Sacrament of Marriage, as the priest blesses the newly married couple, saying, Thou who didst
except Zechariah and Elizabeth, and didst make their offspring the forerunner. And Bless them, O Lord our God, as thou didst Zechariah and Elizabeth. In the Greek Orthodox calendar, Zechariah and Elizabeth are also commemorated on June 24. Armenians believe that the Ganzasser Monastery in Nagorno Karabakh, Azerbaijan, contains relics of Zechariah. However, his relics were also kept in the Great Church of Constantinople, where they were brought by the Prefectus Urbi Ursus on September 4, 415. In 2003, a 4th century inscription on the so called Tomb of Absalom, a 1st century monument in Jerusalem, was deciphered as, This is the tomb of Zechariah, the martyr, the holy priest, the father of John. This suggests to some scholars that it is the burial place of Zechariah the father of John the Baptist. Professor Gideon Forster at the Hebrew University states that the inscription tallies with a 6th century Christian text stating that Zechariah was buried with Simon the Elder and James the brother of Jesus, and believes that both are authentic. What makes the theory less plausible is the fact that the tomb is three centuries older than the Byzantine inscriptions, that a tomb with just two burial benches is unlikely to be used for three burials, as well as the fact that the identification of the tomb has repeatedly changed during its history. In Islam Zechariah Arabic, Zakaria Zakaria is also as a prophet in Islam, and is mentioned in the Quran as the father of John the Baptist. Zechariah is also believed by some Muslims to have been a martyr. An old tradition narrates that Zechariah was sawed in half, in a death which resembles that attributed to Isaiah in Lives of the Prophets. Zechariah was a righteous priest and prophet of God whose office was in the Second Temple in Jerusalem. He would frequently be in charge of managing the services of the temple and he would always remain steadfast in prayer to God. As he reached his old age, Zechariah began to worry over who would continue the legacy of preaching the message of God after his death and who would carry on the daily services of the temple after him. Zechariah started to pray to God for a son. The praying for the birth of an offspring was not merely out of the desire for a child. He prayed both for himself and for the public, they needed a messenger, a man of God who would work in the service of the Lord after Zechariah. Zechariah had character and virtue and he wanted to transfer this to his spiritual heir as his most precious possession. His dream was to restore the household to the posterity of the patriarch Jacob, and to make sure the message of God was renewed for Israel. As the Quran recounts, A mention of the mercy of your Lord to his servant Zechariah. When he cried unto his Lord a cry in secret, saying, My Lord. Lo, the bones of me wax feeble and my head is shining with gray hair, and I have never been unblessed in prayer to thee, my Lord. Lo, I fear my kinsfolk after me, since my wife is barren. Oh, give me from thy presence a successor who shall inherit of me and inherit also of the house of Jacob. And make him, my Lord, acceptable unto thee. Quran 19-4-6 Translated by Pichthal as a gift from God, Zechariah was given a son named Yahya Arabic, ye identified with John the Baptist, a name specially chosen for this child alone. Muslim tradition narrates that Zechariah was 92 years old when he was told of John's birth. In accordance with Zechariah's prayer, God made John renew the message of God, which had been corrupted and lost by the Israelites. As the Qur. and says, O Zechariah! Lo! We bring thee tidings of a son whose name is John, we have given the same name to none before him. He said, My Lord. How can I have a son when my wife is barren and I have reached infirm old age? He said, So shall it be, your Lord says, It is easy to me, and indeed I created you before, when you were nothing. He said, My Lord, give me a sign. He said, Your sign is that you will not be able to speak to the people three nights while in sound health. According to the Qur. And, Zechariah was the guardian of Mary. The Qur. And states, Remember, when the wife of Imran said, My Lord, I have vowed unto thee that which is in my belly as a consecrated offering. Accept it from me. Lo! Thou, only thou, art the hearer, the knower. And when she was delivered she said, My Lord. Lo! I am delivered of a female, Allah knew best of what she was delivered, the male is not as the female, and lo! I have named her Mary, and lo! I crave thy protection for her and for her offspring from Satan the outcast. And her Lord accepted her with full acceptance and vouchsafed to her a goodly growth, and made Zechariah her guardian. 
Whenever Zachariah went into the sanctuary where she was, he found that she had food. He said, O Mary! Whence cometh unto thee this food? She answered, It is from Allah. Allah giveth without stint to whom he will. Quran 335-37, translated by Pikthal. Muslim theology maintains that Zechariah, along with John the Baptist and Jesus, ushered in a new era of prophets, all of whom came from the priestly descent of Amram, the father of the prophet Aaron. The fact that, of all the priests, it was Zechariah who was given the duty of keeping care of Mary shows his status as a pious man. Zechariah is frequently praised in the Qur'an, and as a prophet of God and righteous man. One such appraisal is in Surah al -An. Am and Zechariah and John and Jesus and Elias. Each one was of the righteous." Quran 6-85 translated by Pikthal, Quran translator Abdullah Yusuf Ali offers commentary on this one line, suggesting that these particular prophets make a spiritual connection with one another. He points out that John the Baptist was a relative of Jesus, while Elijah was one who was present at the transfiguration of Jesus on the mount, as mentioned in the New Testament. Zechariah, meanwhile, through marriage, was the uncle of Jesus and his son John the Baptist was referred to as Elijah in the New Testament. See also Topic Biblical narratives and the Quran Legends and the Quran Qisas al-Anbiya Arabic, Qisa Esalan by Ya as stories of the prophets in Islam Topic. References Topic. This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Easton, Matthew George 1897. Zacharias. Easton's Bible Dictionary New and Revised Ed. T. Nelson and Sons. Topic. External links Topic. Prophet Zachariah the father of St. John the Baptist Orthodox icon and Synaxarian